What's going on guys? Jonathan Chrisley here and in this video I'm going to do a frequently asked questions about Forex. If you haven't already checked out my video series on the basics of Forex, I highly recommend you check that out first so that these questions make more sense. So the first question I usually get is how much money do I need to start trading? Most brokers only require a hundred dollar minimum deposit. So that means if you have an extra hundred bucks from your paycheck or even a hundred dollars that you spent on a pair of shoes or a hundred bucks you spent on clothes, you can put it into your Forex account. There's a very low barrier of entry. This is not stocks. You don't need a minimum of $10,000 to make money. A hundred dollars is plenty to get you started. Some brokers only require a one to $10 minimum deposit. If your broker is offering that, you might want to look for a different broker. Brokers that have that low minimum deposit aren't really plan on giving your money back. They want you, they are enticing you to put your money in there so that you can make irresponsible trades and lose your money. So $100 is the minimum deposit for most trusted brokers. How much money will I make? So this one's a hard question to ask. When we're talking Forex, I usually don't talk about um, profits, I usually talk about growth. So once you get the swing of things, once you've already been in 90 days, you've gone through a lot of education, you've practiced, you can expect anywhere from a 10 to 25% monthly growth. Now compare that to the bank's yearly 0.000 whatever percent growth, you can make a huge amount of growth on your own account trading your own money. How much time does Forex take? So in the beginning, that's when you do spend most of your time doing Forex. When you're learning, when you're studying, when you're trying to learn the basics, learning the theory, learning Fibonacci, learning trend lines, learning support resistance, that's gonna take a lot of time. That's gonna take hours upon hours upon hours. But once you've already done your 90 days, you're already getting familiar with it, realistically, you only need to spend two to three hours a week looking at charts. Forex is all about freeing up your time. If you're spending all of your time staring at charts, all of your time reading news, then why are you doing Forex? You should just go back to your nine to five job where you're spending all day working on it anyway. I personally, in the beginning of the week, spend about an hour looking at some charts I'm interested in, and then throughout the week, I'll spend maybe 20, 30 minutes a day just peeking at charts when it's convenient for me. If Forex is so amazing, why doesn't everyone know about it? The answer to that is pretty simple. Schools don't teach you how to make money, they teach you how to be an employee. I was never once told about Forex when I was in school. They didn't even tell me it existed. None of my teachers knew about it, the principal didn't know about it, the janitor sure didn't know about it. So why would you expect to even know about this? Why would you expect to know about the most lucrative financial market in the world in a school system, in an education system that doesn't want you to make money? All right, is there a limit on how much you can earn? Answer to that is no. You can grow your accounts infinitely. So if you start with a $100 account, you can totally turn that into a $1,000 account, into a $10,000 account, to a $100,000 account, into a million dollar account. Now that's gonna take a lot of time, effort, and discipline, but just to answer the question, is there a limit on how much you can earn? No, there is not. Can you trade cryptocurrencies in Forex? The answer to that is yes, if your broker offers it. Right now in the United States, which is where I'm located, there aren't any regulated forex or there aren't any regulated cryptocurrency brokers. So you have to use a uh, broker like JFX. Um, they offer they offer crypto. However, I've heard some mixed opinions about those brokers. You might some people never saw their money when they withdrew or you know, they were checking their balances and the balances just didn't add up right. So yes, you can trade cryptocurrencies, but just tread lightly. Don't put all of your eggs into that just yet. It's definitely worth putting some of your extra money or some of your extra Forex profits into that so you can play around because cryptocurrencies grow like crazy. The movement is intense. So answer that is yes, you can trade cryptocurrencies, but just be careful right now. Which broker do you recommend? So the only real broker I personally recommend, and again, I'm based in the United States, is Oanda. They're US regulated. Their maximum leverage is one to 50, which is the legal limit in the United States. When you're looking for brokers, check the regulations. Check which countries they're regulated in, because if you're looking for some random crypto broker, and then you see that they're located on some remote island you've never heard of that only has like two laws, then you might not want to sign up with them. So always check to see if the broker you're using has regulations that are within your country and make sure and read about what other people are saying about them. So if you're in the United States and you're okay with just starting with Forex, I highly recommend, recommend Oanda. Is Forex more profitable than stocks? Yes. 
Forex has a lot more earning potential than stocks. Now, the reason I say that is because Forex, Forex's daily trading volume is about $5 trillion a day. Let's compare that to S&P 500, one of the biggest stocks and exchange you can trade in. They only do $3.275 billion a day. Compare that, $3 billion to $5 trillion. So just putting that perspective is that's how much more earning potential there is in Forex. And that's why it's easier to make money in Forex, especially if let's say you're a college student or someone that's just not well off financially, there's a low barrier of entry for you to start trading. You can get that hundred dollars into a thousand dollars much quicker than you can with stocks. How long does it take to learn Forex? So the answer to this kind of varies from person to person. The general answer is 60 to 90 days minimum. Now, when I say 60, 90 days, that's how long it takes to get familiar with it. That's how long it takes for you to start being able to figure out, okay, like that's a candlestick, this is a trend line, I'm entering these trades, I'm starting to see some patterns, I'm starting to recognize why some trades are bad, why some trades are good. The honest answer is learning Forex is a lifetime process. The, long, the person I know has been trading the longest, he's been trading for over, I think, 20, 25 years. He's earned, he's earned over $100 million through Forex. He's still studying to this day. And I know personally, every single day, I learn more about Forex and there's so much information out there that you can just keep on learning indefinitely. But to answer this question right here, it only takes about 90 days for you to kind of get in the swing of things, for you to start being profitable. All right, I'm ready to dedicate at least 90 days. How do I get started? So if you're ready to dedicate at least 90 days to learning Forex, shoot me an email to say, hey, I'm ready to dedicate at least 90 days to Forex. We can set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation, 100% free. I just wanna help you get started in your Forex journey. So again, if you're ready to dedicate at least 90 days to learning Forex, send me an email, say, hey, I saw your video series, I thought it was awesome, and I'm ready to start learning more about Forex. I'll meet up with you on a video call, we'll talk it out, I'll answer questions you have, and see what we can do to get you started trading. All right, guys, thank you for watching this FAQ. I hope I answered a few of your questions. If you have more questions or you're interested to get started, send me an email, I'll get right back to you, and then we can start your Forex journey.